I need a favor. I need you to call your boss and ask him to give me clearance on the identification of this source. I thought we just agreed that it didn't matter. Yeah, but I've still got to call Walsh and tell him that I did everything I could. I would like to cover my own ass. Jack, you're finally learning how to play the game. Jack that Bauer. is the first episode of 24 where <laughs> Kiefer Sutherland's Jack Bauer must stop a terror plot in 24 <laughs> hours. The series continued for more than 200 episodes and earned the actor two Emmys. Wow. Now he is starring in the new series. It's called Rabbit Hole. It's on Paramount Plus, a division of Paramount. Sutherland plays John Weir. He is a corporate spy, although he says he's not, and a master of deception who's framed for the murder of a treasury official. Weir must chase down his enemies while on the run himself. Here's a preview. Where are you chasing her? What's your precinct? What are the charges? This woman has done nothing and they're arresting her. What are you doing? I have it all on camera. Answer him. Answer I him. see you. We see you. We see you. Back off. We see you. 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 We can see you. We see you. We see you. Are you ready? We see you. You ready enough? Gun! Gun! That is so intense. Wow. <laughs> Kiefer Sutherland is here Sucked in. in the studio. Good morning. Good to see you. So yeah. good to see you guys. And, and yes. before we get started, I have to I have to warn you a little bit. Uh, during the pandemic, you know, normally when I was working, I wouldn't get to see the morning shows as much as 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 certainly I did during the pandemic. So if I start to behave a little too familiar with you, <laughs> it's because I feel like I really know you. Uh, oh wow! You were a real sense of normalcy for me uh, during that time that was. So so unnormal and abnormal. Well, I'm so uh, glad, because so. I thought you were going to say, so I don't really know you all very well. <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I no, I'm like, like, oh, no. That's so know. nice of you to Thank say. You. In, in, a, in a year where I was wearing pajamas, I would look at Vlad's suits, and I would go like, I'm going to go get dressed right now. I'm gonna go okay, put, please put clip that right and, and play it forever for me. That is, <laughs> so, get a discount from your tailor. Yeah, yeah, so, so nice, Keith. Thank so, you. So thank you. It's it's. Great to see you in person. Listen, oh. we liked you even before you said that. Now we really like you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's so but true. So wait, let's talk about Rabbit Hole. Yes. Um, when you got the call for this, I mean, I've read where you said, thank God they called me. Like, well, yeah, thank God they called me because uh, uh, our showrunners, uh, John and Glenn, uh, are, are two of my favorite writers. Uh, one of their screenplays was Bad Santa, which I thought was one of the funniest oh, movies so that I've seen in, in 20 years. And 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 as directors, uh, Stupid Crazy Love, I thought was one of the most well-balanced yeah. films uh, that I'd seen in, in a very long time. And so whoever they were going to call was going to end up doing this job. Um, but I love the genre of the thriller, and they wanted to pay homage to those 70s thrillers like Three Days of the Condor, yes, love that film. Parallax View, Marathon Man. Uh, and those were the films that I grew up watching uh, as a young man that one day, if I was fortunate enough to work as an actor, those were the films I kind of wanted to make. Um, well, look at you, Kiefer. You're still killing it. Listen, we were only allowed to see one episode. Yeah. And I'm already hooked. We're I'm trying to figure out, because they're comparing... We have so many questions. So many <laughs> questions. They're comparing Jack Bauer and, and Mr. Weir... And you say they couldn't be more different. Well, the genre is the same. So yes. it is a thriller, and, and, and the kind of the temple of a thriller is that you take your lead character, you turn their life upside down, kick them to the corner, and say, now run for your life. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's a thriller. And, and, and that's very similar to 24, that's so and that's very similar to this. But there's huge differences in the characters. Uh, Jack Bauer was the guy who had run into a fight. Uh, John Weir will try and figure out how to run away from a fight as hard as he can. Mm -hmm. um, Jack Bauer, uh, and it, you have to understand, one of the greatest opportunities I've ever had in my life. But as a character, he was, a, he was kind of a blunt instrument, mm -hmm. um, whereas John Weir is kind of like a surgeon's scalpel. Yes. Um, you know, and, and he so has some it, jerky tendencies, I'm saying. Yeah. Well, yeah. for instance, oh. he's incredibly smart and has this amazing facility with numbers, and he can make these fantastic predictions. Uh, but he, he, he suffers from uh, severe uh, self-confidence issues and almost borderlining on neurosis. So there's these great contradictions in the character so uh, that I hope the audience is going to enjoy as much as I enjoy well, playing. So forgive, my, forgive my simple mind. Though, when it comes down to it, playing this character, and you've known, you're, you're known for your heroic roles, is John Weir a good guy or a bad guy? Good well, question. Well, again, that's one of the things that I love about this show. It's, it's up for the audience to figure out. Uh, uh, and I think John and Glenn have done such a beautiful job in the writing of this. Uh, he doesn't start out telling 
telling the truth. You know, I mean, it is very o obvious. Yes, he, yes. he works as someone in the world of corporate espionage. He's running an operation, which means he's lying and he's conning people into corporate doing something. Corporate espionage that he calls consulting. consulting. That's that he calls line. consulting, but yeah. why are you still doing your, set, your, your own stunts? You don't have to do... Why do you it's, do that? It's one of the things that I loved about 24, the physicality of that character. Uh, and, and I haven't had the opportunity, in all fairness, uh, Designate a Survivor was a very different character. Uh, and this was one of the aspects that I loved getting back to. In, in the first fight sequence that we did, uh, I was thrilled to kind of be a part of it. And then I realized, oh, it's another difference between 24 and... <laughs> like, Jack Bauer always won his fights. Yes. You John don't win Weir fights loses all yours. his fights. Yes. But, so you know, but wait, Kiefer, Tony said that you are you usually pay heroic characters, but I say that you started out, when I was watching you in your early days, you were one of the scariest villains in Stand By Me. <laughs> You're one of the scariest movie villains ever in Stand By Me. It's the only part they gave me. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be one of the nice kids, but it was the part they gave me. And, <laughs> and one of always the... Deliver Key for Southern. Thank you so yeah. Always do. So great. We thank you so much. Do you want to take us to break? You could read. You could. You know how to read, Kiefer. Rabbit Hole premieres this Sunday on Paramount Plus, and we'll be right back. Yay! Yay! Oh, <laughs> sign him up. Season two tomorrow.